Tom Green's Rabbit, a true story from Scott's last voyage by author Meredith Hooper and illustrated by Bert Kitchen. The author writes the book and Bert Kitchen drew the pictures. There's the Terra Nova and do you think that's Little Rabbit? I do. Oh, it looks very cold there. There's the Terra Nova again, trying to sail through the icy seas. And there's the penguins. Might be standing on an iceberg floating in the sea. A true story. This book really happened on a voyage to Antarctica in 1910. The ship was called the Terra Nova. Her captain was Robert Scott and Tom Crean the sailor was a member of the crew. Tom the sailor picked up Little Rabbit carefully in, with his big hands and he wrapped her in an old woolly jumper. You need a nest, Little Rabbit, said Tom. Somewhere on the ship is just the right place. Warm, quiet and cosy. Let's go and find it. Tom the sailor looked at the black cat with one white whisker. The ship's cat was tucked up in a warm, cosy place. He lay in his own little hammock, just like the sailor's hammocks, with his own pillow and blanket. This hammock is full of black cat, said Tom. There's no room for you here, little rabbit. And there's the cat getting snowed on. <laughs> there's the hammock. And there is the one white whisker. Oh. Tom the sailor looked at the skylight where the ship's parrot was swinging on her perch. Hello, Polly, said Tom. Hello, Polly, said the parrot. You can't live on a perch, little rabbit, said Tom, and gave the parrot a piece of string to unravel. There's the string. There's the little seeds, and he's got some little bells to play with on his perch. Carefully, Tom the sailor climbed down the ladder into the ship's hold. There were boxes and sacks and barrels in stacks and heaps. It was very cold. Tom peered around and shivered. It's much too cold and dark down here for you, little rabbit, he said and climbed back up quickly again. There's the sacks in the hold, and there's the barrels, and all these ropes keep the sacks and barrels safely stored so they don't fall over and roll about the place when it gets rough on the seas. Tom the sailor looked into the big cabin. Everyone was busy hanging up paper lanterns, paper chains and flags. Come and help us put up the decorations, they called. Come on, Tom. No, not now, said Tom. I have to find a nest for Little Rabbit. Here's all the bunting. And there's the flags. Oh, I wonder what they're going to be celebrating. Oh, good smells were coming from the galley. Tom looked around the door. The cook was stirring something in a big saucepan. What's for dinner? asked Tom. Special surprise for a special dinner, said the cook. You just wait and see. Tom the sailor put on his big warm jacket. He pulled on his woolly hat and woolly gloves. We're going up on deck, little rabbit, said Tom. Mind now, keep warm in the kitchen or in the galley. These metal bars go around, so when they're cooking with the hot pots and in the rough seas, the hot pots will not fall off and burn the cook. Snow was falling gently. The sea was covered in big pieces of ice like white meringue. Icebergs floated by like spiky mountains. Two whales lifted their great backs in a patch of blue back black water then sank below the surface. Where's the whales? Oh, there they are. Fat, silvery seals lay on the ice, yawning and scratching themselves with their flippers. 
a little group of penguins stood staring at the ship. More penguins scurried in the ice in a long line. One penguin on top of an ice hill and the others pushed him in. Oh dear. There they are in their long line and there's the one that's just been pushed in. Huge icebergs floating off in the ocean. Wow. High above the deck, up against the sky, a wooden barrel was lashed to the mast. Pure white birds flew around and around the rigging. Here's the rigging. It's no good going up there, little rabbit, said Tom. You can't climb and you can't fly. The deck was filled with dogs. Brown dogs, hairy dogs, black dogs, yellow dogs with pointy ears and curly tails. Tom tucked little rabbit deep inside his jacket. Hello, dogs, said Tom. The dogs barked and yelped and howled. They must have been pleased. It's a good job they got big, thick fur coats, isn't it? Keep them warm. Tom the sailor went forward to the place where the ponies were kept in the strong wooden stalls. The ponies were munching oats and they banged the side of their stalls with their sharp hooves. The ship is full, said Tom. It's crammed and crowded. Where can I find you a warm, cosy place for your nest, little rabbit? Little rabbit's long, silky ears droop. There's the ponies. And there's little rabbit wrapped up in Tom's warm jacket. I've got it, shouted Tom suddenly. He ran down eight steps and poked his head into a gap under the deck where the hay for the ponies was stored. The air smelt sweet. Just the place for a nest, said Tom. Carefully, oh look, carefully he unwrapped little rabbit from the old woolly jumper and put her on the hay. Little rabbit hopped around, sniffed the hay and lay down. And now, Tom said happily, it's time for Christmas dinner. That's what they were getting the um, galley ready for. <gasps> Everyone sat down around the long table in the cabin. They ate, oh, I wonder what they ate. They ate tomato soup, roast mutton, plum pudding and mince pies. Then they opened parcels from their families. They pulled crackers and played games and sang songs. They were a very long way from home, but it was a good Christmas party. There's their parcels they're unwrapping. They've opened their crackers because they've got their hats on. And now down the end, there's all the food along the table. Keeping warm and jolly. When it was nearly bedtime, Tom went to see little if little rabbit was all right. He poked his head into the gap under the deck where the hay was stored. Little rabbit lay in her warm, cosy nest in the hay. Lying next to her were 17 baby rabbits. <gasps> wow, there they are. That's the best Christmas present ever, said Tom happily. 17 babies. Now I can give a rabbit to each of my friends. Well, nearly. He stroked little rabbit's long, silky ears. Oh, look, good job he found a cosy place. And there's the 17 little baby rabbits. He found her a nest just in time by the looks of it. There's Tom back on deck. Look at all the ice hanging off. Oh, icicles, look, icicles. Tom looked around at the night. The deck was covered in glittering snow. The world was utterly quiet and still. The sun was soft golden hall and the ice glowed white with purple shadows. Happy Christmas, said Tom to the world. Wow, it's very quiet and empty, isn't it? Just the ship sailing through the ocean. 
The great white continent of Antarctica is surrounded by ice-covered seas. On Christmas Day in 1910, the Terra Nova was pushing through the ice towards land. The men on board, led by Captain Scott, hoped to be the first people to reach the South Pole. Their husky dogs and ponies would help pull sleds loaded with food, tents and sleeping bags across the frozen snow. Tom Crean got close to the South Pole before turning back and helping to save a life of another explorer. Captain Scott, with four companions, did reach the Pole, only to find the Norwegian expedition, led by Roald Amundsen, had arrived before them. Scott and his companion died on the return journey. Oh dear. Tom Crean had many adventures in Antarctica, along with the explorer Ernest Shackleton. He sailed a tiny boat across the wild ocean after the ship Endurance had been crushed in the ice. Later he went back to home, his home in Ireland and ran the South Pole Inn, which is a pub. The story of Tom's rabbit is based on the diaries kept by the men on the Terra Nova. Scott wrote in his diary, an event of Christmas was the production of a family by Tom Crean's rabbit. She gave birth to 17 at present. They were warm and snug. Exact words from his diary. Meredith Hooper, who wrote the book, Description of Antarctica, are inspired by her travels as a writer with the Australian National Antarctic Research Expedition. So there they are, and there's that Terra Nova ship sailing through the seas. And that's the end of the book. I hope you enjoyed it. Tom Green's Rabbit, a true story from Scott's last adventure. <laughs>